and it'll take up the running. Norway Star leads from Atomic Man and third the outside straight clip. A length and a half away, Hedy Lane, who's uh, wanting to over race, followed by uh, Ikalaka getting back. In fact, it's back to about fourth last now. Uh, they're trying to put the brakes on up front. Palladium Star's handy to them. He's in about fifth position. About three off the lead. Sterling Knight went up around the that bunch to get into third spot. So Atomic Man fourth, Palladium Star fifth, and then Gold Robe, Hedy Lane. Ruling Regent was next, and then Chief Red Eye, one main out. Uh, Ikalaka's drifted further back now. It's back to last. Go with the flows in front of a few, including recommittal Kings Afar. And then Ikalaka and our grades as they run to the bend, about 700 to go, and Norway Star's the leader. From straight clip, Atomic Man's right behind them. Palladium Star's had a beautiful run. And then came Henny Lane, who's drifted back as they round the turn. Sterling Knight up with that leading division. Ruling region around the outside as they turn for home. And then Chief Red Eye, Kings Afar, Gold Robe, one man out. And then came Go with a flow, recommittal, and Ikalaka to the outside. Into the straight now, and it's Sterling Knight. Tackled by Norway Star and also getting through straight clip and ruling region coming at them. Palladium Star gets through. Ikalaka's running on strongly. Ruling region led Palladium Star. Sterling Knight Ikalata. It's Palladium Star taking the lead from ruling region. Palladium Star drew a length in front of ruling region. Palladium Star clear near home and he'll win it. Palladium Star first beat ruling region. Ikalaka's got third from Atomic Man and then one man out and recommittal our grades ran on Sterling Knight next. Norway Star battle on well followed by straight clip Hedy Lane and then Chief Red Eye Gold Robe and Kings are far towards the tail end. Go with the flow, beat a few home. Geez, a good horse, Dan. And he was beautifully ridden and he went dead straight today. But uh, last couple of runs I've seen him, he's run all over the track. But Gary Palmer, he's been a really good jockey, rode really successfully in Hong Kong. Comes from Brisbane nowadays, I think. And uh, good to see Guy Walter get a uh, good winner. I think he's a very smart horse. Still got that hanging action, but it was nowhere near as bad today, and he raced a lot closer to the speed, Gary. He did, and it was a beautiful ride here. He waited and waited for a run. He didn't try and go round them. I thought he might have had a bit of trouble here. He was just uh, waiting and waiting for that run, and he must have been very confident of his horse, Gary Palmer, because here's the run starting to come now. And he gets him through here. Gary rides with a stick in the left hand. He's riding him hands and heels here, and he just asks him for that effort now. Ruling Regent's the one on the outside of him. But he gets away here and goes to the line very strongly. Number one gets 30, Kalaka after the photo, just in front of our grades. And down on the rails was Atomic Man. Yes, was a very good win. Good effort. We hit on, though. It was a good bunch up here. Here they are. Now, where is he? He's about right there behind those horses. You just see his gold cap behind the one in the pink and the white hat. It's coming out here now. Nice run here. You can see Gary's got the stick in the left hand. He's just wanting to shift out a little bit, the horse. He's just riding him hands and heels here. Keeping him nice and straight. He's gone to the line really well. When he puts his mind right to it, I don't know what he's going to do, this horse, Dan. He seems to be able to... Accelerator. I've never seen a horse do it. He did it Geelong and still get up. And when he ran all over the place. And the run at Canberra was much the same. And that's that's on the on a different leg going the opposite way. Yes. Well, there he is. He's a lovely looking horse. Number seven, ridden by Gary Palmer. Trained by Guy Walter. Yes. Well, Guy deserves a real good win over the carnival. He came down here thinking tie the knot, but most probably win a good one. He had quite a few good placings. Here's a great action shot right up close to them. Big Gary with balance, very important. Just pushing those hands up every time the horse's neck goes in. You move your hands. It's really become noticeable. More of the boys, especially that have been overseas, they come back. Frankie DeTore on Saturday, the way he pushed those hands up the neck. We've seen some great races today, Dan. Far Rain, I think she's won right out of the box. Prep Pribbles riding. Good to see Shane Dye back in form. Couple of winners. Palladium Star will pay about 250 the win and 160 the favourite. So a firm favourite, but uh, punters are spot on here in the last couple of races. Far Rain and, uh, and Palladium Star, two of the shortest price favourites for the carnival getting up Tim Gossage. Dan, Tim, back to of the day, without question, the last two. And one man who was certainly aboard was Gareth Hunter from Brisbane, who was our $50,000 punter, thanks to Darwin All Sports. You got out in the last, so what did you end up with uh, after outlaying 50,000? Uh, I came up about... 55 and a bit, bit over 55,000, so, so I get to take home. So you, yeah, you skim the cream off the top, they get their 50 grand back, so you get five and a half, couple of days at the Crown Casino, a day at the race. It's been a big day. 
It has been, and I'll be at Cranes again, again tonight. And, that money roll. and the last one for you, you own a bike, you want to buy a car. Does the five and a half go towards the car or does it go to the Crown Casino? Uh, probably go to Crowns. <laughs> Good on you, Gareth. Congratulations. Well played today. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dale. Get, all yeah, yeah. yeah, Dale and All Sports. Thanks to Gareth Hunter from Brisbane. So, Tim Webster, Gareth's one of many punters who went out on top this afternoon. Thanks, Goss. Yeah, well, I hope he turns the 5,000 into a bit more at Crown tonight, if that's what he decides to do with the 5,000. Uh, we will get you uh, correct weight and dividends on uh, the last year at Flemington as soon as we can get them. And uh, today we're a little more comfortable for time than we have been uh, on Derby and Cup Day. And uh, we'll get Mark Aston with uh, the winning trainer shortly, if we can too. We'll see if we can organise all of that.